The one we're going to be trying out is the Perceptive Pisces. So my husband is a Pisces, my best friend in California and her husband are Pisces. Um, I know a little bit of Pisces people, so uh, I, I, I mean, this is a cute collection. I love Pisces because it's very, like, fishy. Sorry, you could probably hear my dog. He's going crazy. <clears throat> but it... This is the palette, and I'm sorry if I'm all over the place. My brain is just a little bit tired today, and my skin's just acting really crazy, so I apologize. So this is the palette. Of course, it has the artwork of, what is it, Marina Miranova, which I can't still seem to find any information on her as an artist, which I really, really, if you know who she is, if you found something about her, please let me know. Send that information to me so I can give her a shout-out or a place where you can go to her website because I've been looking and I don't know if I'm going crazy I just can't find anything on her but she created this art for each piece I am very into it because I am an artist myself I actually love painting zodiac signs seasons uh, elements uh, birthstones I love doing all that just because it's it's just I'm a fantasy artist so it's very very fun to paint and a very good genre so yeah in the palette, of course, it's going to be that kind of like teal, mermaidy color, and it has a little quote here thing um, about Pisces, so I'm going to read it for you. Let's be real. Surface level just isn't your level. Gifted with knowledge and intuition, you often get lost in limbo between fantasy and reality. However, you are the most mindful listener of your loved ones. And always will, whoop, and always will always be their inspiration. I'm not sure if they misprinted that. It says, and always will always be there. I think they typed always twice. <laughs> be their inspiration. So I can say that's very true about Pisces. My husband always keeps me grounded. I'm a Libra. Um, he keeps me grounded. He keeps me leveled. But he always does. Uh, keep my personality in mind, keep my, my, uh, I guess he's always mindful of everyone around him. He's very, very, uh, much of like, he can make friends very easily. So he's a very, very sweet person to everyone. And of course, uh, to us as his family. So he's very intuitive to what people need from him. He will give you the shirt off his back. That's He's a very, very uh, compassionate person. So I would say that's very true. Um, and it says more on the back of the palette. It says, She Glam per Perceptive Pisces Palette. You are much more than surface level perceptive Pisces. Praised for your deep inner knowing and keen intuition, your generosity, compassion, and open-mindedness starts from your soul. Like the ocean, you are a mystery, but a beautiful one. At that, serene greens and magical blue hues truly speak to you. So I definitely agree with that. Of course, it pretty much describes my husband. He's very uh, open-minded. He's very um, generous. He's very compassionate. He's very... Um, He's just kind, but he does have a mystery about him, and that's something that I respect because, you know, he's um, not much of a talker like I am. I am a huge, huge talker, and I tell you everything. Libras are very, very crazy in that aspect. They're very unbalanced. Um, I just love to, to talk, and I love to interact with people, but at the same time, I'm very, very, um, how would you say? I'm very to myself. I'm very... Uh, I'm much of a introvert more than an extrovert, if that makes sense. All right, so I like I have a paper down here. All right, so uh, we're gonna go ahead and try this palette out. Like I said, I love the layout of the palette. It always has the symbol imprinted in one of the colors here, and then it has an array of different teals. I already have my base on, which is my Glam Light uh, icing primer, and I'm just gonna kind of pat that in and we'll get started with it. Alright, so I zoomed you up pretty closely. Um, we are going to, uh, I mean I want to swatch this but I don't because I'm just like, eh, you know, it is what it is. 
We're going to start off with the darker colors. Of course, naturally, I really just want to go into a darker color. So we're going to go in with this shade right here, which is Neptune. And we're just going to go on the outer corner here. I, I don't know what I'm going to do today. I'm just going to do it. Because I think for Aries, I, I mean not Aries, uh, Aquarius, I did something pretty simple like a smoky eye and I love the color scheme in the Aquarius one that one was really fun I think I'm just gonna do my typical halo eye when in doubt halo it out so I'm just going to just build and kind of softly blend this brush is from Sephora I got it a while back But I really want to just blend that est. Next, we're going to be taking the shade Mysterious. And there's no mirror in these, so it does make it a little bit difficult to, uh, to do. Just because I have to switch back and forth with my mirror. But this one is like a nice matte, lighter teal. And it's perfect for kind of blending out that other teal. And I'm just kind of patting it on to blend it out at the same time. All right, so we're going to go ahead and go in with a fluffy blending brush here. And we're going to dip into Idealist, which is this one. It's actually like a nice color. So it's like a pale mint color. And we're just going to go and blend that in because there is no brow bone shade. You know how I feel about that. But lately I've just been working with what I have and just kind of going with that, that makes sense. Like I'm like, okay, this palette's going to work for me. <laughs> I'm just going to do what I can with it. Oh, this actually does a really nice blend. I'm going to go through and take Neptune again and just kind of touch up those areas that need a little bit more depth. And then I'll get Mysterious and just Blend that through, make sure everything's nice and blended. So I certainly want to put something nice and bright in the middle. We're going to go in with, yeah, I think I'm going to do intuitive. intuitive. <laughs> um, it's a nice metallic uh, color here. It's a nice bright green. And we're just going to place that in the center of the lid with our finger. It's actually a really, really nice green. I could have gone with the pale blue, but I kind of want to do that on the lower lash line. All right, so we'll take more of Neptune and just fluff that into the green so we have a nice blend. And then just kind of do that. All right, so I'm going to jump off camera, of course, do my other eye, and then get back on to do the lower lash line. All right, so rest of the face is done. Um, I had some issues with some of my makeup being a little bit too <laughs> crazy. But anyways, I digress. Now we're going to do the lower lash line. I'm going to actually take this green here, which is the mysterious color. And I'm going to just take a flat brush like this, a smudger brush, or liner brush, whatever you want to call it. And I'm just going to apply it on the inner and outer corner of the eye. And then what I'll do is I'll take a small little brush like this, and I'm going to pick up the Des or what is it called? Dreamy. I don't know why I was reading it wrong. Dreamy shade. Take that dreamy shade here, which has the Pisces symbol imprinted on there. We're going to pick that up because it's like a matte sky blue. And I think I'll swatch these at the end of the video so you can see the color swatch, but I'd rather see it perform than swatched. We're just going to take that under the eye. And then we're going to take um, 
psychic. <laughs> My husband is not psychic, I wouldn't say. That's a nice, like, metallic sky blue. And we're just going to do that. And of course, I want to uh, deepen that up a little bit, so I'll take that mysterious shade again with that small detail brush and just kind of fluff it there. It does have some fallout, but not bad. All right, for the final color, I think we used all the colors except gentle, so we're going to pop gentle somewhere because I'm like, I always, if I don't know where to put a color, I just kind of fling it right here. Oh, that actually works really nice. That's perfect, actually. I really like that. That's a great spot. All right. So last shade is romantic. I would say my husband's super romantic. He likes to uh, take care of me before himself, and I don't like that. I want him to take care of himself before me. But it is in the Pisces nature to be so compassionate and just about everyone else except yourself. But my husband knows that I would like for him to take care of himself as well. That's a nice color. Ooh, this is a very nice palette. I like the teals. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and pop off camera, finish the other eye, and let you know my overall thoughts on the Pisces, what is it, Perceptive Pisces. All right, so put on my lips, very bare lips. It's just this, what is it, Ciate? Yeah, Ciate, and this is the Satin Matte Lipstick in the shade Sext. So I really like this one I got in a boxy charm. It's a very, very nude, like a gray nude. That's how it feels for me. But anyways, I digress. The palette, very nice. Blent out really nicely. I feel like this is a very nice teal color that I really like. I love the shades. Um, let's go ahead. I know this is after the fact, but I'm going to show you the swatches so you can see every color. Because I, I mean, on my eyes, you can see them, but you can't really see them. And I feel like that way you can kind of see the color story. I usually base it off performance rather than um, swatches. So I like to try it first. So yeah, like I said, there's, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, five, sorry, you can probably hear my neighbor's truck, five um, mattes and one, two, three, four shimmers totaling, um, wait, that's not right, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, yeah, five mattes, three shimmers totaling in eight shades. Thank you. Ah, my brain is just not working. But there are the swatches, as you can see. Very teal. Very, very teal. And I like it. I love teal shades. It's my mom's favorite color. So yeah, perfect for March. Weird. And I like it reminds me of Aquamarine, which is their birthstone in March. So yeah, I love the shades. Very, very creamy. Uh, the shimmers are super soft. They're not too intense, but I'm okay with that. My favorite shade has to be Romantic because this one is a nice marbly shade, but it really, really popped in my inner corner. I liked uh, Psychic and, of course, Intuitive. Those ones were really nice. They're very soft. They're not as bright as I anticipated, but I like how soft they are. The shade Neptune did a really good job at really adding depth to my eye without too much. And then that little pop of Gentle, which I didn't know where to put, but I put it here on the little wing that I carved out. <laughs> I always, when I don't know where to place the color, I just put it on my wing and then I'm good to go and it, at least the color is there. But yeah, I really, really like uh, Dreamy was nice. It blent out really nice. It actually made that brightening effect under my eye, which is actually, I really like that brightening effect. But yeah, everything blent out really nicely. Um, I do, if you are allergic to talc or mica, this has talc and mica. These do this brand probably tests on animals. They don't say state that they don't. Um, so if you're allergic to mica, talc, not for you. If you're against animal testing, not for you. If you like vegan formulas, not for you. If you like um, what is the other one? Um, any kind of like a natural ingredients this is not for you because this is this comes from china it's not going to be super super like healthy super uh 
they test on animals, unfortunately, over there. It's just the way it goes over there. But, I mean, I really like this collection because it's a really nice collection. Because I plan on using these. And, of course, I'm keeping the boxes and putting them into a frame so that I can have all the zodiac signs mounted on my wall. Because I love zodiac signs. I collect anything zodiac. But yeah, so overall, love the Pisces palette. I did already do, and I will link those down below, but I re already did the Aquarius, the Ambitious Aquarius, and of course the Calming Capricorn. Um, so I already did those. And the next one on our list is going to be Adventurous Aries. So I'm super stoked about that one. Um, I like Aries. Uh, my son is an Aries. Mm, I know some coworkers that are Aries. My dog, Bakugo, is an Aries. So, I mean, I know Aries too. And, of course, I love Pisces. Pisces is probably one of my favorite signs that I align with very well because there's, they really, and this is true for my husband, he really grounds me down, like, not, not, not in a negative way, but, like, I'm saying he really grounds me. So Libras, we are very, very like all over the place. We are never satisfied because we have such passion and um, we want balance that something feels off balance. We want to balance it right away. That's how I feel. Um, lately, I've just been so unbalanced and I want to find balance and many not may not understand my balance cravings, but it makes sense in my mind, if that makes sense. But of course, I always consult in my Pisces husband on what to do when I feel panicked, um, especially since I suffer from anxiety and depression. My husband always finds a way to bring me back down to earth and bring me back down to reality and just really help me get through those things. So, um, and I tell you, I get along with a lot of Scorpios, I get along with Capricorns, I get along with pretty much almost every sign. Leos are fun. I like Leos. They really bring out the fun side of Libras. But, I mean, I don't want that to be pretty much the stasis of my um, personality. My personality is very fiery and very... Uh, I can be aggressive. I talk a lot. Um, <laughs> I am just one of those people that just likes to be social and just be very, very fun. Sorry, as I'm talking to you, I forgot to put highlight on. But yeah, I want to be very, very, um, how do you say it? I want to be very grounded. But it's hard to ground a Libra when the Libra is wanting to do so many things at once. We're very indecisive, that's for sure. I never, I always second guess myself. It's just, again, finding that balance. So, uh, Libras can be complicated. Libras can be very easygoing. Libras are very creative, which is true. I feel like I'm a very creative person. Um, yeah, so I mean, that's why I balance really nicely with a Pisces, because a Pisces is so compassionate, caring. Um, they're very, uh, they have great intuition, which is something that my husband is very good at. He can at least say, you know what, that's not a good idea. You know, he knows what feels right and what doesn't. Um, he's got that mystery about him, which intrigues me every day. Uh, he's just very calming to me. I mean, he's, he has a lot of perception. I guess that is true about Pisces. They are perceptive perceptive Pisces. So, um, yeah, if you have any Pisces in your life, please comment on, you know, down below in the comment section so I can see how the Pisces in your life uh, differs with you or with, you know, other Pisces. But yeah, that's the end of my video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I wanted to do these every single month just because I feel like this is something that I need in my life right now to be in creative mode is to just really focus on creating some looks and creating just content for the channel that I am enjoying. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next one.